Thank you, Freak. I want to welcome Dyrus and Bjergsen to the desk after a pretty sweet comeback victory there. Very tense, to say the least, coming in at the end of the game there. Dyrus, I got to speak to you coming into this matchup uh, a week ago, and I know how strongly you feel about the rivalry and the matchup itself, so tell me how it feels to come away with that victory. Um, it was insane, because going into the match, I see all this hype, and I see all this stuff, and I just really, really, really want to beat them. I'm like, screw these guys, but then after beating them, Every time we've beat them, I actually feel bad for them because this time around I felt like they were actually the better team, but we just performed better on stage. Uh, well, kind words for you there, definitely. That has to make it sweeter, though, knowing that the rivalry and the team play by both sides is at one of its all-time highest. Uh, Bjergsen, when there is so much hype around matches like this, and we spoke to Reginald and Hotshot earlier in the day, and we asked them how they prepared you guys for it, you know, when, when the game actually then lives up to that hype and it is as intense as it is how do you keep your cool especially being a shot caller um it's obviously really hard especially when you get behind in the early game like you really don't want to lose a match that is this hype then matters so much like no one wants to have pink hair obviously but um i think it just comes with experience like we've all lost a lot of games we've all lost a lot of games like on the competitive stage and you just learn to kind of keep your head cool because you realize it is really important as it show this game. It's just super important to keep your head cool. Well, let's be honest. You're not at least a little excited to see Reginald with pink hair now? Uh, I definitely would have been. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. I would, or, I would or, sorry, Hotshot, rather. Sorry, Hot well, Shot I would rather. love to see Reggie, but Hotshot's going to be pretty funny. To that'll be, to that'll be, be honest, I, I would have rather had Reggie with pink hair because it would yeah. be funnier. But well, you had every it's... opportunity to throw the game diary <laughs> stuff. Uh, so anyway, I want to get into you know how you guys actually came away with this win because, again, it was, as you said, uh, you know, you were down early in the game and you had a couple great team fights and outplays near the end of the game that really pulled it together for you guys. So I want to go into our first replay, which is 38 minutes into the game. It's in the mid lane. And Dyrus, I want you to walk us through this one. So we're going to pull it up on your screen. It's the first engagement. Bjergsen gets caught out just a little bit, but manages to survive it. So, you know, uh, Dyrus, walk me through the decision to turn on this, knowing that you guys can take the fight. So looking here, I thought Bjergsen was going to insta-die, and then he said he was going to flash, and he got out. I was like, oh, he got out. We can, we can still win. Because at this point, I thought we were losing. So right here, I thought Bjergsen was going to insta-die. Somehow he flashes out. Like, Link barely missed that, and now the fight's good for us. Because now we can just hit Smithy, and Zion's, like, on me. He's not really going on Turtle because he can't. And then our, our positioning is just, I don't know, like spread out and then I kind of like go in on their back line and then they're on Zion so it's tank for tank right now Double's kind of choosing between uh, me or our front he wanted to kill Bjergsen because he's the biggest threat on our team but then we have turret also then right here at the end you don't you don't see it but I just die and then it makes the game even closer <laughs> right well yeah soon after that there was the whole Baron fiasco for about like four minutes where the teams are just trading kills while turtle had some pretty stellar uh, outplays there individually um Bjergsen the uh the mid lane was a huge matchup here and we spoke about it a lot going into the matchup just between you and Link being two top performers in the mid lane um and there has been so much discussion about things falling on your shoulders. How do you feel that matchup in this game played out uh, between you and Link specifically? Um, I think it played out pretty evenly. Uh, we put some jungle pressure early, and then when Vi got the level 6, they put a lot of jungle pressure. So I think it was just a fairly, the matchup is very even, and we both have very even amount of jungle and support distribution when we come in and help. So I think it was just a pretty even lane overall. Not really too much action, and it was really just about the team fights. Now, uh, one other small thing about champions just is the fact that Lissandra coming into this game was 100% win rate in the LCS, 10 and 0. You guys handed Lissandra her first loss. So going into champions like though, and I'm sure you guys have some idea of the statistics that roll around yeah. champion picks, why were you so comfortable handing over a champion like that? Um, it's mostly just that we get the trade-off. We get Ari, which is obviously also a really, really strong champion on this patch. So we feel like Ari is definitely at the same level of Lissandra. And we also got Sivir, which Lissandra has a really hard time killing because she has a spell shield, she has a movement speed. So Lissandra goes in and we can just kite back using the movement speed. Then once we re-engage, Lissandra can't really do too much. So we just tried to play around that, and I think it really brought us a lot of wins in team fights. So that brings Lissandra to 11-1. and one. Dyrus, you have something you would like to add to that? Um, so I felt like the picks were still really even, but what's, what really, really brought us to the end of the game was deciding when to go in. 
for example, at Baron. We could have went in, you know, suicide at Santorin and maybe have gotten Baron, but then we didn't do that. We could have went in on Dragon at one time when it was like, there was a bunch of bad times we could have went in where we usually would have went in and lost, but I think our tolerance and, you know, Bjergsen calls to like draw out towards the end of the game really, really brought us in. I do want to look at our second replay then because it's specifically, I want to get uh, your thoughts, Bjergsen, on where the calls came from. We're going to pull the final fight of the game up because this was a very intense moment around the fifth Dragon, knowing that you guys couldn't give it up. Uh, walk me through as the shot caller where the decision came from to initiate when you did. Um, we know Lissandra is off on the bottom side and I get the charm on Xmithy which just pretty much the fight just explodes after that. We have a good position where Lissandra is off to the side, she can't kill anyone and Turtle and I can just do as much free damage as possible. Sure Narg is the engage off but Lissandra is so far away it doesn't matter. She's getting zoned by, uh, by Annie so we're not really too scared of anything here and Sivir at this point does a lot more damage than Corky, especially since Corky went for the QSS upgrade, the Scimitar. So at this point our team fighting is just superior through comps and we knew that Sana wouldn't be able to do as much damage to us. Doublelift over chases a little bit, we get CCs on him and clean up the fight. Fabulously played out fight there. You guys are able to run down the mid lane, you know, ward off the two defenders, take the victory. Dyrus, the fans have obviously played a big role in the rivalry and in TSM as an organization growing and evolving throughout the years. What do you have to say to them and how much does it mean to have them behind you in times like this? So on behalf of TSM and everyone behind our organization, to all of you guys, the fans, um, we couldn't have done it without you. Every time you guys chant, every time you make that one sign, for example, at PAX, like just one sign saying TSM, like it, it's not only on like winning for ourselves, but it makes me play better wanting to win for you guys. And it becomes really, really personal in that kind of matter. And I just want to win for you guys and make you guys happy, make my teammates happy. And um, thank you very much. Well, this game lived up to the hype in all regards and a huge congratulations on a hard fought victory for you guys in securing that first place slot. Congratulations again. Thank you for joining me here on the desk. We've got to take a quick break, but after these messages, we'll head back into the action with Gravity versus Team Liquid. Stay with us. The NALCS continues after this. The Let's do it, boys. Yeah, boys. Holy shit, what was that? Dropped my notebook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, wow. Almost getting out of this oh, with a boomerang just on the edge. Charm. He does. Double lift way too close to the fight. TSM turns back hard. I'm going. Nice. Atta, atta, atta. No hold on the side. Two pings, two pings. Two pings. No, 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 no. I have ult. I'm charming Nard, charming Nard. Nard, Nard. Nard. I'm flashing. He has ult, he has ult, he has ult, he has ult. I ult him. Alright, Corky and Vi still alive. You guys need to kind of try to We're fine. Can we go on this? Yeah, yeah, I wanna, I wanna walk, this. walk up, walk up, walk up. Science up, science up, science up, science up. I'm going on this? Yeah, go, 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 go. Get him, get him, get him. What the hell? I can't move. I'm gonna turtle, 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 turtle. Keep going, keep going, turtle, 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 turtle. This could be the comeback here for Team Solo Mid. The ult goes in. That's on to Santorin. He's pretty tanky from the Vi Assault and Battery, so he stays alive. They continue to fight. This is going to be big. They're going to oh. turn on to Xmini, so they stall it for now. Link. Oh Bye. my god, no way it's going to happen. Their worst nightmare coming true. Wild Turtle's going to get knocked out next. No, the Boomerang Blade comes out just as he can fire it off. TSM is just too strong. They own CLG's base here, seconds. but they don't have the minions. The Ten focus seconds. is on the CLG. They're doing that perfectly. Perfectly. Now to the Nexus after being down all game. Team Solo mid persevere. Reader, reader, reader. 